young lady, this amazing student who is hoping to inspire others through her volunteer work. Mark Nisha Herval started a pet food drive for Seattle Humane and collected, get this, more than 500 pounds of food. That is such an incredible feat. She's also a student at the Environmental and Adventure School in Kirkland. So good morning. We have so many questions for you. But first off, how did you even get started with Seattle Humane? Okay, well... So I've grown up about, like around a bunch of different types of animals mm -hmm. and so once I saw this opportunity where I could like be in close contact with these animals, I definitely took that opportunity. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And we're told that you've been volunteering since you were nine. That's such a young age to get started. <laughs> yeah, so my mom started me off at first and so it was around a meditation center where I would help out with like the morning breakfast and things like that. Nice. And then it kind of progressed. So right now in middle school, I've volunteered at my elementary school. And then currently we have this thing called CSPs where we volunteer around the school, like around the community. That's so cool. So I didn't know, you know, you learn something new every day, especially when you do interviews like this. Um, Humane Teen Club is a thing. Can you tell mm -hmm. folks a little bit more about that? Maybe there's some other young people your age that want to get yeah. involved. So basically it's for the people who are too young to volunteer and just go right in. Mm -hmm. And so it's basically like a class to teach you about the basics of like the shelter and what to do and the different positions you can sign up for. So 500 pounds of food, that is absolutely incredible. How did you do it? Okay, well, I had three plans, um, and I tried to do all of them. One of them didn't work, and so I just had to learn to persevere through that and mm -hmm. just go on with my other plans. So what was the other plan? Which is the one that succeeded and got you all of that food? Okay, well, the, so for the two ones, the one that I think worked the most was mm -hmm. the school drive. So it was a lot of preparation. I had to ask a bunch of people how to set up things, and um, that collected me most of it. And then... Uh, what I did is I went door to door and then I asked wow. for donations and that was a little hard. Uh, it's a little freaky, but... Um, yeah, you have to be like, brave to like knock on doors. Did you get some reactions like, who are you? What are you doing? Yeah, so <laughs> usually when it's like when you're going door to door, you're like giving something a turn, but since right. you're just kind of asking for things, it's a little hard to go up and be like, hey, yeah. I need donations. <laughs> that is incredible, and you did it. So what was your goal? I know you got 500 pounds. 500, yeah, that was so my you, goal. You and reached it. Yeah, I reached it. That is amazing. So for other people who I'm sure are being inspired by you here this morning, just listening to your story, mm -hmm. um, what can you say to them to kind of encourage them to get out? Especially it's the summer now, I would yeah. imagine a great time. School's about to be over. You've got perfect time to, you know, spend time volunteering. How would you inspire those folks? Um, definitely look around in your community and see if there's something that you can take a part of, especially since this is summer and you have time off. You should just definitely look into it, like things like that. Well, Mark Nisha, you're definitely a special young person. We have to ask you before you go, what is your plans for the future? Yeah, well, Seattle Humane has definitely inspired me to look up into things in the future, such as like being a vet or something animal related. Really? And so I've been looking at things such as that. So you can see yourself being a vet in the future. <laughs> Hopefully. That's awesome. Do you have pets at home? Yeah, I have a dog. His name's Finn. <laughs> he's uh, about seven years old. Oh, what kind of dog is he? Uh, he's a Sheltie. Aww. So he's like a lassie, he's like a small lassie. Very sweet. Does he get jealous when you come home and you have like the sense of the other dogs <laughs> on you? I think so. I think so. Well, Mark Nisha, thank you so much for being here and all the incredible work that you do. Um, animals are such a huge part of our culture and, you know, the things that we love here in the Pacific Northwest. So thank you for putting them first. All right, guys, back to you. Yeah, and that pet walk forecast for today looking a little.